welcome to my latest video on Euclidean Sequencer and this time we're going over version 1.05 but before we do that here's a few clips I put together just to show off the power of Euclidean example I was using the core detection and using a pattern sequencer with uh, the second pattern containing the filling and the final clip I've got for you today is one where we're using BS16 uh, for drums Now in that previous example I was using an external MIDI keyboard and pressing the 16 keys from C0 upwards to actually change the pattern. Now I've also added in 1.05 an option within settings to actually toggle this whole MIDI remote on and off and that leaves the whole keyboard available then for chord detection if you use the chord detection feature which is here. Uh, also, um, in the second example, I was using the chord sequencer, which you can get at by long pressing the chord uh, detection button. Now, looking at this screen, you may have noticed two extra buttons. And the first is a randomized button, which is available if we're shrunk into compact mode. And uh, if I was to make any changes within the uh, randomized window, um, those, uh, those current settings then can be used by long pressing this uh, randomized button to the top left of the wheel and it will use those last few settings to randomize another pattern we can always use the undo in the top right corner to uh, revert all the way back uh, through the patterns we've randomized so just to be clear those two buttons uh, uh, are only available when we're in compact mode if i if i extend the interface we can use the buttons that are on display uh, above the note editor to do the randomization uh, but obviously uh, it's advantageous not to have to scroll to the second page to get at those options when you're in compact mode now another big addition to 1.05 is the ability to copy and paste midi data from one app to another so we can actually render midi data from euclidean and be able to paste that in another app to do that you'll notice now if you long press the copy button we get this little dialog pop up and you can see we've got record all and then record a and record b options and that's simply because the other channels are not active if i now long press uh, we get all four bands plus a record all button now by default the recording length is set to 16 beats but we can press this uh, calc low, lowest common multiple button to try and calculate uh, how many uh, beats we need to record to get a whole a whole sequence uh, that loops perfectly now for the sake of this example I'm just going to simplify it a little bit and use two bands and when I hit the LCM you'll see that it's predicting 80 beats now just so you don't have to sit through the whole process I'm going to reduce that to 40 and uh, then we uh, we uh, I'm going to press the record all button which records all the uh, active bands 
and what happens is the uh, the sequence will start playing and uh, we get an idea of how far through the sequence we are and when it's finished recording uh, you'll see a dialogue pop up uh, and at that point the uh, the MIDI data is in the clipboard and available for pasting within uh, another app. Now I just so happen to have a copy of Helium here and it is possible just to drag and drop this uh, file into Helium and because it's got multiple tracks uh, those tracks uh, 1 and 2 will have been populated with the uh, MIDI data uh, all 40 beats worth so it's not really a long sequence that now if I wanted to use the clipboard uh, I could quite easily have, have copy and pasted those in now because this is a multi-channel file if I pick paste in Helium it's going to ask wh which channel do I want to paste from so because I'm on uh, MIDI channel 1 I'll pick one and then we can flick to uh, MIDI channel 2 and uh, do the paste again and then paste uh, the incoming uh, band Tuesday on this track so it's quite easy now to actually get the MIDI data we've created out of Helium and into other packages now I want to look at some changes to the randomization function uh, that we've added uh, which I think spice things up a little bit more now if I open up the uh, randomization dialog and just randomize a uh, a pattern you'll see here the pattern is the pattern is random but we can now change the mode to steps plus app instead of steps plus sequence and when we do some randomizations now you'll notice that for instance in this in this case we've got descending notes on the selected scale if I want to keep that scale I can turn off the scale and chord buttons and just keep randomizing and here you see we have now have an, an ascending scale and here we have an alternating ascending descending scale so as you can see uh, this uh, randomization of uh, of ar arpeggios uh, works nicely against uh, the background of purely randomized notes so you might not want to do it to every band now just like we did with compact mode if we long press the randomize button we could randomize a new sequence using the last used settings now another addition is um, with controller mode if I if I flick into controller mode uh, within the controller lane if we press and hold the randomize button we can do a normal randomization by hitting the randomize button but we can now do uh, ramps and uh, curves curve in and out so that's quite a nice little addition there to uh, uh, to that randomized function now the last thing I want to go over today is the new song mode now this is similar to the uh, pattern sequencer mode which was used with the chord detection uh, only this allows you to sequence a set of patterns to play in time with the host doors uh, timeline so the first thing you should notice is a new addition of the song button at the top of the screen next to the play button and if we long press that song button we get a uh, a song sequencer now as you can see I have song mode enabled and I've already added a set of five patterns to this song sequence so let's just enable uh, host sync and have a listen <laughs> If I'd have let that play it would have looped back to the start of the sequence because we've now added a loop button or repeat button to this dialog in the top right corner now it's important to note if I try and long press the chord detection button I'll get an error pop up because we can't have chord uh, detection mode working at the same time as song mode so if I turn song mode off we can enable chord detection and I'd be able to long press to get the pattern sequencer so that just about covers all the main features of 1.05 don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, thump the video it all helps and I'll see you next time
Yeah.